Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and today is weigh-in day and this is, okay guys, I say every single week I'm going to look and see what week this is before I film a video. It'll be in the um, title, of course. I think it's week 17, 16, I think 17. I started Weight Watchers on February 23rd, so I can't do the math. Maybe you could do the math, <laughs> but anyway, last week I weighed in at 208.2, which was a 5.2 pound loss. So I knew this week I would probably going in, probably wouldn't lose a lot, if anything, just based on, um, you know, what is the word? Past weeks. <laughs> I don't know what, I can't think. It's still early. It's only um, 7 o'clock this morning. And so this morning I weighed in at 208.2. So I weighed in exactly the same. Um, and I'm okay with that. I have been really thinking a lot about this journey that I'm on and you know of course I first started it because I wanted to lose weight and I have been doing this for years and um, you know until I um, you know up until this point it was more just about losing weight and then as um, I began doing Weight Watchers you know, I realized it's a complete shift in thinking and how you go about losing the weight and how to keep it off and what is causing you to, um, you know, not eat right to begin with. And, you know, I realized that it's more about just changing your body. I also need to change your mind. It's such a, at least for me, and this is, everything I'm about to say is just completely my, this is my journey. I think everybody needs to find their um, path and what they need, you know, what they want out of their weight loss journey. And, you know, I'm just, and you may not discover it right away because this is something that I'm just discovering. So, you know, for me in the beginning, I'm thinking, okay, it's just about my body. And now I know it's about my mind and body because when I get stressed or, you know, or sad, you know, or there's just, you know, you have challenges in everybody's life on an, you know, unfortunately on an everyday basis for most people and how do you um apologize for the shakiness too I am not used to just holding up the camera but um anyway so how do you shift your mind from comforting yourself with food and you know or also shifting your mind to like how can what else can I do to you know make yourself feel better and a lot of us, the reason why we're on this journey is because we did turn to food. And that's, um, that's me. So, you know, I knew mind and body, but as I was losing weight over this time, and I've lost 26.2 pounds total since February 23rd. So, you know, I, I know I lose weight slow. I always have. It's just one of those things. So I'm not expecting, um, you know, it, it's fine. I mean, my first goal is to reach 199 by the first week of August. That has always been my goal from the very beginning. And I know some people would say that was, you know, that's, let's see, March, April, May, June, July. That's five months. That I think five and a half months is what I gave myself to lose, you know, as I started out 234.4. So it would have been about almost 35 pounds. And, you know, that's, that, you know, is so, so for some people might think, oh, you should lose more than that. For other people, oh, that's a, you know, high goal. But I think it, for me, it was a realistic goal for me. And I may not make it, and that's fine. You know, we have the ups and downs. And like I said, along this way, I'm discovering my patterns and my habits. And I just need to, um, yeah, just need to discover myself. And so I was saying I knew, you know, my body and my mind. And then I just, as I was losing weight, I just kept feeling I it still was not making me happy. I think in my mind I was thinking, you know, you lose weight, you know, you, um, you'll be happy. You, you know, get out of debt, which we were in debt for a while. And, um, you know, due to me losing my job during the, you know, back in 2011 when the times were really bad, re recession and everything. And, you know, we got into debt when it took me so long to find another job. And now that we're out, you know, we're digging our way out and we're almost there and, you know, in less than a year. And I think, okay, that'll make me happy. And it's, it's, that's not making me happy. I mean, I'm not unhappy, but I'm just saying, you know, you think in your mind that, you know, losing weight, having money, 
you know, being with the person you love, you know, oh, what else can you want? You know, you should be happy. And I, you know, just felt like through this journey, sure, I was happy I was losing weight, but I just felt like I was missing something. Something was not, you know, it's like there's still something holding me back in this journey. And um, I don't remember exactly when it was. It was... Um, you know, I, I remember, I, I know it was around the time that um, I had seen somebody's video and they had talked about, um, you know, some other, another person and I went and watched one of her videos and um, it was <clears throat> um, around the time of that, the secret sister exchange that Melody was doing and then I, you know, hadn't really... Um, you know, I heard of Melody, but never could find her channel, and I finally found her, started watching her videos, and I don't know, it was just really strange, and I've told Melody this, and so she knows, you know, what, how I feel, and it's just something, it's, it's like, it almost just clicked, it was kind of like, I think that's what I'm missing, I'm missing the spiritual part, you know, so I think it's your whole mind, body, and soul, basically, you know, I think that's what I was missing was, it's, you know, about, you know, having a healthy mind, having a healthy body, and being healthy spiritually. And that's something that's been missing my entire life out of, you know, from, you know, me and it's never been a part of me. And um, so it's been a few weeks now, um, ever since whenever that was, and, you know, two, three weeks. And I think last week, um, and I'm going to order a book that Melody had, um, suggested. I just, it's like one of those things where it's like, I need to write it down. <laughs> so, um, I need to write that down. So I'll write that down when I'm done <laughs> and to remember to go order it. But in the meantime, I, um, had, I'm having daily devotionals sent to me, um, to my phone and I've been reading them and it's been, it's just been amazing because it seems like I feel like it's been every day exactly what I need and what I need to hear and what, um, and it's just as giving me some, you know, joy and peace inside that I think I was missing for a long time. So, so that's my journey. You know, I feel like I am, you know, so I'm okay if I don't lose weight one week or even if I gain, you know, if I know I gained, I mean, it is frustrating. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to, you know, not going to act like, oh, I can never, you know, you know, if I gain weight and I know I was perfect all week, it's the most frustrating thing in the world to know that you've done everything right and you still gained. But, you know, maybe you just need to, sh I know then I thought thing myself that comes back to your mind to shift gears. Okay, was I eating the same thing every day? And then that's what I had to do that one week and I did everything right. And I realized, okay, so I had to just listen to my body and my body was saying, you're eating too much of this, you're, you're not drinking enough of this. And, you know, I know some people are not affected by the same things, but obviously my body does not like carbs, even though I love all the carbs, <laughs> but my body does not like them. My body does not like sodium and I just have to watch certain things. So it's just, it's just about listening to my body. And so, you know, I'm not going to say that I'm not going to be upset if I ever gain, but I'm just saying this is a complete journey of everything. And so I know that if I am trying to fix, not really fix, but just a journey to healthy, that's basically it. Just an entire, you know, head to toe inside and out, you know, healthiness. So I'm just going to make a short video because I do have um, lots of things I got to get done today. My son has his first day off from work and he's going to come with me to do grocery shopping and <coughs> sorry, my dog and the cat are fighting <coughs> over there. And um, so I just want to tell you one last quick thing and um, then I will go into, um, well, actually, let me go into my goals first, then I'll end it with the one last thing. So my goals for this week are just the same. Um, I'm going to try, um, I always like to try one or two new recipes a week. It kind of mixes up my food, and I feel like it makes me, um, 
you know, I like to try something new. And one of them I'm going to film is going to be a new summer, it's going to be like a summer salad that I've tried before that I really like. So I'm going to share it with you. And it's a good meal prep one that is good, you know, for several days. So I'll be able to take that, you know, either eat it at dinner time or take it to work for lunch. And so that's my goal is to try to eat at least two new recipes. Um, drink my water, which I have faltered on the last few days. Um, and... Um, just try to move. It's supposed to be nice this week, so I'm hoping to get walks in at work. And um, I think that's about it. And just to try to... Oh, I'm going to try to journal. Um, I um, think I kind of have a plan in my head, but I think I'm going to um, use the daily devotional as a kind of jumpstart to my daily journal. So I'm just going to use that and kind of expand on what the devotion means to me and what it's saying to me and I'm just going to write about it. So that is my goal is to at least try to do that three days a week. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, so that is my, those are my goals for the week. And let me just, um, read to you. I just want to read to you cause it just, it really, um, I don't know. It was just one of those things where it just seems like every day, this is what it's been with these devotionals and yesterday. So I'm going to start with yesterday. You know, we've had some stormy weather the last few days, and when I was came home from picking up my son as we were walking up the front porch, we look over and there's a rainbow. And there's been, you know, several rainbows the last few days because of the weather, and this one was just, you know, really big and bright, and my son even stopped to take a picture because, I mean, I don't know if, if I mean, that's just how I am. When I see rainbows, I just, you just stop and look at them, you know, they're just, I don't know, something magical about them. So then this morning... When I opened up my phone and I looked at my, and I'm going to read, looking down here at my um, tablet to to read my email. Um, I, you know, when I got my devotional this morning, I don't know, I just, it just made me smile because of the rainbow. So this is what it says. It says, um, I have placed my rainbow in the clouds. It is the sign of my covenant with you and with all the earth. And this is Genesis 9, 13. So then it always gives a little kind of like, thoughtful like what you know kind of talks about it this is what it says it says what beautiful imagery god has used after a harsh storm full of roaring thunder and flashing lightning comes a beautiful rainbow its rareness and colorfulness is a touching reminder of god's promise he has promised to never again destroy life the next time you see a rainbow remember it is a sign to everyone that god will keep his promises so i just want to leave you with that and i hope everyone um, is having a wonderful day and have a good weekend and you will see several videos posted. I'm going to do two summer salads and my grocery haul. I'm on my way to groceries. So I have to finish my grocery list. And um, yeah, so good luck to everyone else who has weigh-in Friday. And just remember that if you don't have a loss that um, it's more than just, you know, your body. So have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.